Alright, so if you're watching this video, it's because you're having a hard time fighting the Mecha Dragon or the Water Dragon. So I find that it's, it's a lot easier if you just don't attack him and shoot his fireball. So when he comes out of the water, he has two attacks. One, he shoots his fireball. And what I like to do is just avoid the fireball. Just avoid it. It's not worth the risk. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm not wasting my shurikens. I'm saving my shurikens for these floaters. The second time he pops out, he electrocutes the water. And that's the best time to attack him. You get three, four hits before he actually dives back down. And when he dives down, you want to stay um, in front of him. Stay a couple of, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to meter that, but stay, <laughs> keep a good distance in front of him so that he doesn't dive into you. So as you can see here, I'm just hitting him three, four times and then backing off. You don't want to stay in the middle of the map, otherwise you're going to get hit by his dive. So when he shoots his fireball, you can stay away from him or right under him. If he pops up too close to you, just go right under him. And right after he's done shooting the fireball, you can actually just uh, get to uh, a clear distance away from his dive. So again, saving my shurikens. Stay right under him and then get out of his way so he can dive into the water. Alright, he's gonna come out again. This time, it's when I go for the kill. One, two hit. Thing about this boss is you have to be really patient. As you can see, I'm saving my shuriken uh, because I need the shurikens for range to get to these floaters. So now that he's executing the water, it's the best time to attack him. There you go. Easy peasy. Good luck. And I hope this video will help some of you guys out.